Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, and this is my review for Pose. This is season one, episode four. I don't know why I feel like this should be like episode six. <sighs> Product is a damn show, is an hour and a half. Anyway, tonight's lipstick is um, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It's called Stunner Lip Paint. It's one of my favorites. I wear it every day to work. For you who follow me on IG, you see it every day. Um,. Pose this episode it was really good it was it touched on different things it touched on how people deal with their bodies how one person can think the other person has all this pride and just happiness and it's not really true um so we see you know from the beginning the the category is luscious femme queen body body yaddy yaddy which means it's supposed to be for the thicker girl you know what i'm saying some thick some juiciness or whatever you know so all the girls coming down the line his you know boobs and ass and all these things and at one point somebody titties was out and i was kind of like they put titties out at the balls okay um so <laughs> i'm like what is going on here so we then see candy from house of abundance who wants to walk this category and her body ain't built the same as the other girls in the category so she like i just want to be you know i feel like it's about um sexiness and they like no it's not what it is honey it's about body yada, yada. and you don't have no body like a, she's you know she's she's built like a boy you know what i'm saying she is very flat chested she's thin okay she's just thin i can't say she's built like a boy what could she anyway Electra like look you should not walk it because you're going to embarrass yourself you're going to lose and anyone from my house should not be walking you know can't be losing these uh these categories and then she's like look you are thin you're you're not a part of it you, you can't you know you can crack a walnut with your ass cheeks. i say she said she can crack, crack a walnut with her ass cheeks i said well hell if that's the case she can probably crack a walnut with her damn titties but either way it goes this ain't your category honey but candy still says i'm gonna walk it because she assumes i can get face i can give sexes and ain't nobody sexier than me so honey she comes strand <laughs> she comes strolling down the damn walkway and pray tell like excuse me what is you doing up? honey what is you doing pray tell pray tell pray tell told that girl girl this is not your category what the fuck are you doing and she's like well, you know this is about being sexy and i'm sexy he's like no honey this is about being juice and you're not juicy she's like he said if i try to squeeze juice from you i cannot get enough to fill a goddamn dick to go i said bitch okay she has no juice no juice at all okay she's all out of the juice and you know she's like whatever um and he's like all right you know don't worry about it we're gonna let the judges settle this they score 10 10 10 10 across the board uh, not her someone else so they're scoring other people people get you know 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 that and all the different scores honey they get to candy and they was like six 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 across the board if i recall that is the lowest score anyone can get that's the lowest score anyone in the house of abundance has ever gotten and at this point in time candace dreams are just you know she's just oh so sad you know but i'm like girl they told you not to do it and you did it anyway. At this point in time, she can't get mad that they ran her for filth because you went somewhere that you was not supposed to be. Like, you were not. They kept telling you. Okay, they kept trying to tell you, don't do it. And you did it anyway. So, you know, it was what it was. So, she's outside, not all sad or whatever. So, Angel, who's also, you know, very, very thin, comes out to talk to her because they are basically sisters in arms in this little thin thing. And she's like, you know what? you have it easy because you can pass you know what i'm saying i don't have that easy she's like we all have our issues or whatever i was in bed talking to my man talking about sam um was it no i sam is it sam or the thin i think it's stan if i say sam or stan you know what the fuck i mean so don't you know a little bit what it's gonna be anyway she's talking to him and he's saying how um 
no, she was asking him about his wife and how she was building, if she was thick or whatever. And he says, well, no, not in the beginning, but you know what I'm saying, once she had the kids, you know what I'm saying, she got some thickness to her. But his wife is skinny too, so you know, it is what it is. So, she's like, so even for me, I feel what you feel too. However, I know who we can go to get it fixed. Who can kind of, you know what I'm saying, fix our bodies. So I'm like, fix your bodies. What's going on here? I'm like, oh, pick up that damn craze. So they're having that kind of conversation where, you know what I'm saying, even though they're both thin as nails, they want to do something about it to not be so thin. So they then go down hunting to the lady who, who, who was downtown, not uptown, downtown. And she put in silicone, and silicone, silicone and asses and titties all up and through. Um, at her house, I said not the hospital, not the doctor's office, not the hotel. At her house, in her living room, she had a whole little thing set up. Um, talking about you, know what I'm saying, when I do it, y'all can't move. Like when I inject y'all, you can't move because when you move, you don't want to get the stuff in your bloodstream. I'm looking like when anyone says I can't move because if I move, I can fuck up and it can really fuck you up and you don't. Want no thank you mm, i'm good love and joy is what i would have said however they ask him more and more questions like what is it what happens will i inject you with this and it plumps up this da, 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 da. these are pictures of girls i've done They're like well how do you we know you can do it in real life well i work for a doctor uptown who did it and he charged way way more than i did so i learned from him and i do it the same way i use the same stuff i just do it for cheaper so when sh she then said um, you have to be still, you do it. And if you leak after, if you have any bleeding, you can put some crazy glue on yourself to stop. I said, bitch, crazy glue? Crazy glue? Bruh. Bruh. I'm like, who puts... And she said, crazy glue. That's how we put it. You know, that's how you use to stop a running out stock. And I would love looking at I say, at that point, I was like, you know what? Nope. I'm good. Gotta go. Um, but she like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and hit me up, doctor. I'm good. And she said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I've learned from the doctor of China what I do is legit lies. What you're doing is not legit at the all. Um, and when Candy said, okay, I'm going to go first. You know what I'm saying? Shoot me up. Okay, that'll be $1,000. It's like $1,000. That, that's expensive. She's like, what you, you know, I, I, you know, I, and I said, well, <sighs> It's a thousand because you went to somebody's house. It looked like she had the right stuff, but I'm like, still. And a thousand dollars back then in the 80s is like 10,000 now, probably, because it's the time difference or whatever. And so sh they can't afford that, okay? They don't have that kind of money. So I'm like, well, okay, they don't get it done. You know, we then see after that, Damon is at practice. He's trying to practice to be in a show or whatever. So his instructor said, okay, you can, be, even though you're like a first year you should not be in this show because you're a first year i'm gonna allow you to do it anyway honey but he getting sick he throwing up he getting dizzy i'm looking like oh shit what's going on not the damon please no he had all these symptoms he's, you know he's hot he got a fever he got the chills i'm like oh my god what's going on oh no 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 so blanca like you know what I'm saying? have you ever been having sex and i don't want to talk about it she, look she like don't be acting scared have y'all been having sex and then he says, well, yeah, have you been using condoms? He was like, oh, yeah, but like a couple times we did. She's like, oh, my God. Well, I, was, I don't want to talk about this. Part. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. So he lays down. I'm like, look, it's too late for you to be trying to act all, you know what I'm saying, shy. Like, bro, you know what's a whole disease out here. So why you act like you don't know why she's asking questions? But whatever. But I'm like, they can't give Damon AIDS and have him have, having symptoms when he just started having sex with, with with Ricky and Blanca got diagnosed, honey, in episode one. So my thing is, how can, well, that's how the disease go. Because for, for Damon to have symptoms before Ricky or Blanca would be crazy. But they say, and with AIDS, you know, some people progress faster than others. It just depends on your immune system. So, yeah, anyway, we see that whole thing. Um... We finally see who Electra's benefactor is, honey, and it's Detective Stabler. I said, Stabler, where's Benson? Yep, Detective Stabler, who, who was on a long order SUV. I'm like, okay, it's him. So, it's, I mean, I said he was really on the show. Electra brings up that she wants to have the surgery. 
okay she says you know i want to get my dick removed you know what i'm saying um and he like well that ain't what i want you know what i'm saying i enjoy it um she then said you know what i'm saying you know i don't i don't like it and then he said you know for you i stopped going down on you because you didn't like it you know what i'm saying so that's enough and then she says yeah he, no he then says you know what i'm saying um i don't know why but my dick gets harder knowing that your dick is in the room i said no I said, the, the conversations that we are being involved in and invited into is mind boggling when he literally said my dick gets hard knowing that your dick is in the room and that's what i like okay and i'm like i was speechless i was like that's a lot to say okay that's a lot that's a lot to take in like okay because to say i i did you a favor by no longer giving you head because you don't like your penis but i need your penis in the room in order for me to get hard i was like what okay okay i mean i need a dick in the room too but i have a vagina so i i don't know how that goes anyway i love how electric said you know what i'm saying i'm 40 years old and i'm not foolish enough to not know that you're going to eventually you know what i'm saying because they've been dating for like 10 years so my i was going crazy um she said you know what i'm saying i know that you're going to um you know basically trade me off for someone younger and you know what i'm saying i'm doing this for me i'm going to do this on my own you know for me and he says when have you ever done anything on your own and i'm like oh which kind of crushed her to make her remember i kind of haven't done anything for myself he pays this he pays that you know what i'm saying he wants me to keep my penis even though it makes me unhappy so when she's back home not back home she was out in the bar and the girls were bringing up how she took the little Christmas money and did something else with it. She's like, you know what? We're going to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I was going to have my surgery. But you know what I'm saying? My man does not want me to have it. I was that amount of money short. But you know what I'm saying? I don't need to have it anymore because I'm not going to have the surgery. Because he wants me to keep it. And he wants me to be. He wants me to be me. And that's it. Um, and he likes it, so she's gonna stay that way. And I said, okay, if you think so. At that point, Sam, we see Candy come in, and she thick, baby. And I said, oh, did she go have the surgery? I'm like, well, she couldn't afford it, honey. She didn't pad her whole body. She didn't pad her damn titties and pad her ass, her hips. And <laughs> Electra said, you then you cannot go out there looking like that. Like you cannot. Like this, this is not your category, honey. This is not. And she was like, you know what I'm saying? You, if you're gonna go out there, you have to at least be real. You can't be fake. And she's like. Is that wig real though? You know, <laughs> Electra read her for filth. She's like, look, these cheekbones is real, this face is real, the legs are real, this waist is real. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, knock any of the people who've had work done. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it just has to be done properly. And all you did was add some padding to your body, and that's not what it's supposed to be. So she's like, well, fuck this and fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. You don't. She went off all the way off, honey, hard. I'm looking like, they was waiting to go off on each other because you know what I'm saying Electra is a different kind of mother okay she's the kind of mother who kind of will de degrade you but love you from afar it's really really weird so honey candy went out in the damn walkway the ballroom honey and she walks out and pray tell stopped the whole show he said fuck this shit hold up cut the music off stop 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 I said he cut the he cut the music off. He's like, what the hell is this? And Candy walking in as if she won. She's like styling and profiling. He like this girl that came up in here and she got her whole body padded with her mama's, her mama's maxi pad. You know what I'm saying? She has the largest maxi pad ever in life. And then someone else like touches her. I said, yep, it's pad yep, it's padding. You know what I'm saying? She and it must it must be a heavy flow. I said, oh, a heavy flow. Aww. So at this point in time, Candy feels bad. Um. And pray like, look, you need to come back where you can be in a, in a category you can actually win, okay? Because this is not the thing for you. Um, and she's getting pissed. You know what? Pray tell, take that mic, stick it up your, your, she says, take that mic, stick it up your loose ass and go fuck yourself with it. And he says, honey, I do every night gleefully. I said, the reads the reads be so comical it just be crazy um i'm like lord you so at this point i'm looking like she's basically out of the house of abundance because electric said you know you can't be out here you know what i'm saying basically 
fucking up our name. And, and, and if you go out here, you out. Like, you're done. Well, whatever, fuck you. So she's done with that. It is what it is. But we then see Electric walks the category. Um, but then a mem- another member come in after Electric walks hers. And she's from the house of Extravaganza. Who says that all the time? I don't know. Anyway, the house of extravaganza she come in and they're like where the fuck you been? so this, i'm like clearly she's been gone for a while where you been where you been where you been i was in bangkok so clearly she was in bangkok getting her body already done and she came back banging and you know so she got some real work done um and so she wins first place election wins second place but let's like you know what let's go let's go chat let's go have a conversation let's go for a little nightcap so, you know, they have a conversation. So, we do find out that this person has had full reassignment surgery. Um, and she loves her progress or whatever. And her talking to Electra, Electra was saying how for her, she, because the girl was saying how she felt incomplete before and she's complete now. And Electra said, like, is that, it's not that I have, I feel incomplete. Is that I feel, you know what I'm saying, inconvenienced that I have a penis, basically. Um, and so, for me, not having it. It, I just feel, you know what I'm saying, like I'm just, inco- I'm, I'm inconveniencing myself. So as she's talking, we see her, um, like, um, taping herself, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, was, I, think it's, I think it's called tucking, so she's tucking herself, and she, as she's tucking herself, she, she's crying, because she just, she, she doesn't want her penis, like, you know what I'm saying, I, and I don't, I know that sounds weird, but it's what it is, it is what it is, and so, she says, I'm tired of living in the, you know, in this in-between place just for him. You know, so it's kind of hard for me to kind of say that. And so she's crying, but taping herself. She's crying in the restaurant with the lady. And she's having her first real vulnerable moment saying, like, I am not happy with myself as I am. And I'm compromising who I am for some man. And then, you know, or girl say, like, look, there's no better feeling than looking between your legs and don't see nothing down there. And I say, well, you know what? As a woman with a vagina, I mean, I agree. I would not want to look between my legs and see it. Well, <laughs> sometimes I do. It's, it's, it's the whole. It's, it's the thing. As I was about to say, I'm dirty mind. Anyway, she just tells her like, you know what? It's okay to want to be who you are meant to be, and 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 be that for yourself, and not worry about other people. So we see that whole thing with that. Um. Dame is still sick. He get he you know he's still sick with little whatever, you know. Ricky come there trying to mess with him. And, you know, hey, you know, your fever is still up or whatnot. And eyeball, Lord Jesus. He asks Ricky outright, "Are you positive? I mean, are you HIV positive?" And then he was like, "You don't have AIDS. You don't have you know you don't have it." He's like, "No." But answer my question. He said, "You know what? I don't know." Um, I've never been tested. And he's like, "What? You know how have you never been tested? You know what I'm saying? What's going on or whatever?" You know, but we've been careful, so it's fine. And then when Damon says, "Well, not all the time," you know, a couple times we, we weren't, we weren't careful. We, we didn't use protection. This for Ricky said, "Well, because you said it, it feels good without it." I said, "Now that is not a typical ass good sex line." You people do say, "Oh, well, raw sex feel good." It does, but however, not when eggs going. I mean, you just can't be out here just raw dogging people because you just never. Uh, you have to really be in a committed relationship and just hope that person ain't out here being a dirty dick person or, or a dirty vagina person and not just spreading their legs and just doing whatever they need to do and also you have to both get tested continuously just to make sure that no one is doing anything um so at this point you know damn like that's stupid or whatever um he said well how many people have you been with ricky said i don't know like 50 i said bitch 50 50 ain't ricky a kid like ain't ricky like 12 not 12 but he can't be like oh like 50 bitch 50 i said 50 50 50 50 50 is a lot of people if you consider the fact that ricky i believe is young like i don't think he's old i don't think he's like over 21 22 you know what I'm saying? he's a kid so i was like 50 bitch He's a slut bucket in these streets. Okay. He's a slut bucket. And so when he says that, they were like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, why didn't you tell me I would have, you know, why we do Because at this point, he's like, I've, I've slept with a man who has slept with 50 people. And 50 people 
and does not know if he's HIV positive. Like, I didn't even think to ask these questions before we had sex. And those are the kind of questions you should ask someone before you have sex with them. Like, how, even if you don't ask how many people, you can at least say, have you ever been tested for diseases? Yeah, when? Was it within the last three months? No. Go get tested. Okay, because you it's this point blank period. So he's freaking out because he has not had the conversation. So at this point in time, you see Blanca outside listening. And bruh. Air and air. What the fuck is Eric? Rick Ricky then says, It's okay, you know, I can't have it because you can only you you can only catch it if you're a receiver. And I've only bought them like two times. Bruh, I had to literally pause the episode and think wait what I had to process the point by point so I had to process first he said you know what I'm saying you can only catch it if you're a receiver I said a receiver I said okay so I guess that means you can only if you're a bottom and then I said he said and I've only bottom twice and I said we've only bottom twice I said with so I was in my it was the funniest it took me like 10 minutes not 10 like like five to realize what he meant by that he just meant you know, if you are the the receiver of dick, sorry for the vulgarity, and you're at the bottom, that's how you can catch it from a top. And then he said, I've only bottomed twice, meaning usually he's a top, but he got bottomed twice. So hopefully those two times he got bottomed, he didn't catch it. I said, but it took me a minute to process what what that meant. And I was, I was so confused. Like, I was like, wait a minute. If a, I'm like, but, but a receiver... Can be the top too, right? Because with the the top person like getting their dick sucked, like if a person would, would, uh, would, I was just so confused. I was so confused, and I had to just figure it out for myself and just kind of like, okay, because I want to understand this kind of stuff. So I, I really like stopped and like thought like, okay, what did that mean? It was the funniest shit ever. So from there, we see Blanca and Bray talk because Blanca's upset because she overheard them talking. She's like, you know, they wasn't even thinking, you know, they out here being messy or whatever. And, you know what I'm saying, I feel like as their mother, I need to get all the kids tested so that they can just know their status so that we're not out here just spreading disease over and over again. And they need to know their status. And Bray then says, you know what, I stopped getting tested. She said, what? He says, you know, I stopped getting tested after so-and-so, you know, whatever. I just stopped it because I just... Since then, I just, I just been really, really careful. I used to get tested every month, and I just don't anymore. Um, he was like, you know, knowing doesn't change anything, and so I just stopped putting myself through that because you know insurance doesn't pay for this, insurance does not pay for that. You know, insurance won't cover any treatment. You know, what I'm saying they're not trying to cure the, this disease, so I'm just out here living my life carefully, and you know, what I'm saying living with it, not living with AIDS, but you know, what I'm saying living with not knowing. And then, you know, she's like, you know, fuck that. She's like, we all, all y'all have to get tested. And then we have to just kind of, you know, deal with the terms of what what comes up. So from there, we see, you know what I'm saying, all the men at the house of Evangelista meet up. I do not know the name of, the, like, the little Puerto Rican dude that be there. I feel like they never say his name. And I have no clue what his name is. But he there, uh, Ricky there. Damon there. Damon is not feeling better. It was just like a little flu virus or whatever. He's not dying, thank God. Um, and pray tell them they're telling them, tell them, tell them like, you know, we're going to go all get tested for HIV together because we need to know our status and, you know, it is what it is. So, he says, because again, we, we, need to, we can't be out here spreading this disease. So, Damon, like, you know, so, so Damon, because he's better, he's like, okay, I'm happy. I do want to know my status. Ricky looked nervous because Ricky been out here slutting in these streets. He been out here thotting and bopping all day, all night with his penis, and he's worried. But he said, I don't know if I want to know, but we're going to go and we're going to get it done. Damon then says, oh boy, who name I don't know should be fine. Like, he should I need to get tested because you can't catch it from a woman. I said, well, <laughs> yes, you can. Um, but of course, this is when AIDS first came out. He says, no. He's like, no, that's not true. I need to get tested too. He's like, why? You know, you can't get it from like from a woman or whatever. Like, look, he's like, sometimes... I'm an equal. Op- op- he says I'm an equal opportunity lover, um, and when I was hard up for cash, I let dude suck my dick. I said, I was so confused because I was like, men pay men to suck their dick. I was like, so someone paid you to let them give you head. I was like, well, goddamn. Uh, I mean, I just. I get it. <laughs> Move on. Anyway, 
sub when he said it, I died. I was like, oh, bitch. People pay to suck a dick. Okay, that's what it is. It is. So, this point in time, um, Percy, like, look, it does not matter, you know, because once you get the disease, you know, you live in a broad time. And he's like, I have friends who have, who have it, and they're perfectly fine. They're living a life, and it's fine. I have others who die within days, months, or, you know, what is, they die pretty quick. They, they, they're dropping dead. He's like, so, you know, it just doesn't have any kind of, there's no rules to it, you know, it, it, is, it is what it is. So, we see that. Um, Angel and Candy still hanging tight, trying to get their bodies right. And they can't go to that expensive ass doctor. They found the cheapest doctor they can find. Honey, when they went to this person's house, and the person was sitting on the bed, and I saw the person, like, wiping off the needle with, like, a, a, a Q-tip or whatever, or, like, a cotton ball, I said, don't do it, bitch. Don't. That needle got AIDS. The needle has hepatitis. The needle has stuff that you do not want, honey, because it's not. No one should be wiping the needle clean because to me that means the needle is dirty, and they're trying to clean it. And every new, every needle a person uses, it should be a brand new sterilized needle. And I was like, okay, it just does not sound right. And I'm like, clearly, y'all should see this is a bad idea. When you look at the person saying, you know, what I'm saying I'm going to get the shots, everyone comes to me. No, they don't. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Cause you built real bad right now. Like you built really, really bad to be a person who injects people. And then her face was just like I was like, bitch, no. Her titties looked lopsided. I'm like, her titties just not look even. Like they were just not level. They need like a little, little ruler. And she charges way, way. She charged like 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 a hundred bucks. Um, and I'm like, it's just no. And she said, what do you use? She said, well, I charge less because. I, you know, she goes up time to get herself from the fancy people. I go to Honduras and I get it for pennies. And she's like, well, what's in it? Oh, you know, it's kind of sort of like what y'all use here. I say, bitch, no. When someone says it's kind of sort of like, no, mm -mm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. She then said, but I add some things to it to make it the same as what you guys use here. I said, do y'all not see the devil looking at y'all in the face? Of, don't, don't, don't do it. Honey, Angel looking like, I don't think I'm going to do this. You you can go ahead and do it. And Candy, dumb ass, go ahead and get it done, honey. And I'm like, oh, she's so stupid, Jesus. And then <laughs> I'm like, she just, it, oh, no, it was just kind of crazy. Because she then said, when I inject you, you have to massage your body to make it all be right. I said, so clearly she's shooting to your bloodstream, okay? She's doing what you're not supposed to do, but whatever. So, we see she gets the work done. She goes to the ball, okay? She walks the ball, looking thick, 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 thick. And they're like, yeah, well, that's the body, that body is paid for because it's not padding this particular time. And she's like, you know, but this is hot. Oh, this is so hot. This is hot. And Angel like, girl, no, you must have the flu or something. Because it's, it's not hot in here. So, honey, first of all, she's walking and she's sweating. when She's walking that ball, honey. And then she gets tens, tens, tens across the board. And she wins. And now she's looking up to the lights and she's reveling in this, this, the shine of winning. She passes out. I say, well, bitch, is she dead? Did they kill her that soon? I was just going to, I was concerned. However, when she wake up, she's in the house with her mother, with Electra in the house of abundance. And she's like, I don't even know why you brought me here. Like, I'm surprised you're, you're taking care of me because, you know what I'm saying? I left the house. She said, no, bitch, I kicked you out, but it, it's neither here nor there. And she's like, no, why did you come to me and talk to me about, you know, this? I would have, you know, sent you to the people who, who can really, really do it. You don't talk about anything except yourself. So why would I talk to you? You know, you don't, don't know how hard it is to, to not be able to pass. I'm so miserable. You know what I'm saying? I feel so alone. You know what I'm saying? I hate what I see when I look in the mirror. And Candy's just being honest about what she's been going through, how she just couldn't. She felt as if she could not talk to Electra. And Electra kind of had her own honest moment saying, you know, honest moment saying, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. You know what I'm saying? I look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I hate what I see. And what did you hate? She's like, you know what I hate her dick um so she says like this despite what that man wants i'm going to have the surgery because i never want anyone to be able to tell me who i am or who i can be she says so you, you later you get some rest and i'm gonna get some food and it was a cute thing of her just being taken she was one taking care of her child and two she was being open and honest to let candy know that you're not the only one who have these ideas of not being happy but they're just a different ways to go about it so i'm like okay that was real cute um, 
<coughs> Angel and Stan messing around or whatever. And he can't get hard. So Angel like, you know, what's going on? What's wrong? Like, I don't know why you, why you, why you can't. Oh, let's try some more. I think it's because I've been drinking, you know, a lot of whatever. And so she keeps like, maybe I'm wearing off on you. Maybe you've had your fill of me. Like, maybe you're done with me or whatever. I don't know. So she then starts saying, well, did you have sex with your wife before you came? Like, did you, did you get one off with your wife? And I'm looking like, but if he did, like, you can't be mad about that because he's a, he's a full married man. She asked, like, are you just experimenting with me? Like, do you not really like me? Like, are you not really, like, are you not really into this stuff? So, it's it's, it's a whole thing now. He's like, are you, what's wrong with you? Are you tripping? Are you, are you drunk? Don't, I'm not stupid. Like, we're not going to let this go until we, like, we talk. She asked him, like, would you want me to have the sex chain? Do you not, are you not attracted to me? Like, it was all these questions and questions and questions and questions. And I'm like, she's like, would you want me to be a thicker, like, do you want someone thinking like your wife? So clearly, Angel is self-reflecting her own insecurities onto what onto him, thinking, "I am unhappy with my body for whatever reasons may be, and maybe that's the reason he can't get hard today." She then said, At "One time, you know, last time you couldn't get hard, you played with my dick, and then you got rock hard. Like, are you gay? Are you are you gay?" He's like, "No, I'm not gay. Um, that's not it." I did that. I thought you would like it. And then she says, no, I told you I don't like that. I, I don't, I, I let you do that because I, I did it for you. I'm like, okay, so clearly that means transgender people who still have their penis don't want penis. Who don't have their, who still, oh yeah, who still have their dick. Don't want it being touched during sex. And I was like, I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? I always assumed even if a person... Well, I guess that doesn't make any sense because if you're trans, you don't want to have a penis because you want to have a vagina. So, that can't... Okay. So, <laughs> just get that part. Anyway, so, he's like, look, I don't care whether you have surgery. I don't care whether you, you change your mind. I don't care whether you gain weight. He's like, is that, is that what this is about? You want the money for the surgery? And then she's like, no, I just need to know, like, you know, what is going on here? You know, you drove around the town looking for me. You know, it's a, well, you was looking for me for this, looking for me for that. Um... Maybe you just had like a sick fantasy and now you've done it and, it's, and I'm out your system. So he then talks about how when he was younger, he went into like a little dirty bookstore to get some dirty magazines. And he went into like the little back section and it had magazines covered in like brown paper bags. He said, but the name, the name says something like maybe like she mails. It was something, you know, that or whatever. And he said he knew what it was, and he, you know, looked at it. He said, when I looked at the picture, it my dick got hard. And he's like, and I didn't know why. I didn't understand that, but you know what I'm saying? It just did. And then now she feels like she is his weird childhood fantasy that he's just kind of living out. And, like, he doesn't really like her. So she's pissed off and she kicks him out. But I, for me, I'm confused. I'm confused because I'm like, if you have a penis, okay, and if someone is attracted to you because you have a penis, can you be upset because they're attracted to you because you have a penis? Like, I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Anyway, um, after that, we see, she kicks him out, but I'm still like, she mad for stupid reasons because you, I mean, basically, if you think about it, Angel was a prostitute. He was a, he was a, he was a John. And they've carried on the situation. Now they're having a full-fledged affair. But at the end of the day, she treats him and talks to him as if he don't have a wife. And as if he did not tell her, you know, I won't be able to do certain things with you. And you have you have to understand that. But I'm going to get you this apartment. I think sometimes because she just cares for him so much, she kind of flips out and she's upset about it. But, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Um, we see the guys all going to get they, they, uh HIV test and they're getting their results. So, Damon is negative. Woo! We see um, the guy who name I don't know. He's also negative. Woo! We see Ricky come out and he's also negative. And when Ricky and Rick, when Ricky came out as negative, I was like, "Now nah, he dodged the bullet because he had 50, 50 people to, to deal with, and it could have been anything." Now, see, when Ricky came out negative, I said, "Pray tell gonna be positive." I said, "Cause it ain't no way that they all went down there to get tested, and none of them is positive because it just doesn't." that just wouldn't make any sense in the realm of the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone else has to have it. Um, I was still pissed off 
that he went into the room and they said, you know, yes, you do have it. Like, you do have your HIV positive. And he's like, I dodged all this time. I was so careful all this time. You know what I'm saying? They finally caught up to me. And he's emotional. You know what I'm saying? He's very, very emotional. Um, crying. Like, you know, I kind of have a minute. I have to collect on myself before I go out there with the guys. So he goes out there with them because they're all negative. And he's like, you know what? Hey, guys. Yep, I'm negative. All right, let's go. And I'm going like, oh. He lied, but he lied because he doesn't want to crush them. So he's lying about his status the same way that Blanca is because they don't need to know. Okay, cool. So we then see, you know, um, Blanca is trying on a dress he made for her. And then, you know, she's like, oh, this is such a great moment. You know, everything is just going the right way. You know, all you guys went down and got, t- got tested and everyone came back, po- came back negative. And, you know, it's just a great time for our family. And then Preto said, like, he was like, I lied. And she was like, about what? He said, my status. And she's like, what? So, of course, at that point in time, you know, it's a sad, sad thing because he's saying, you know, I'm not ready to die yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be left in the hospital, you know, ne- neglect like the other people who we've seen die from this, you know, where people won't even come in to change my dirty, my dirty robe or they won't come in to bring me food. You know, I don't want to have that be my, that my end. I'm not ready to die. And she's like, you know, no, that's not, you know, the the, the disease might be curable. And then he like, they're not going to cure this. And they don't want to, they don't want to cure. They don't want to save us. Um, and that's it. She's like, look, don't worry about it. We're going to do what we have to do. We're going to find whatever we need to find. We're going to find all the medicines or whatever. She said to him, no, like, we're going to find this together. We're going to come out on the other end together. And I'm like, it's a great, great mindset to have because you don't want to be negative about it. So from there... The, and I'm sorry, sorry, I just burped. <laughs> From there, we see, you know, Electra go in and she is uh, signing the paperwork for, for surgery. You know what I'm saying? We see that part. We see Angel, who goes and spends her thousand bucks to get her body done by the lady uptown. Not the lady downtown who was real dirty and it was just not good and, uh, and damn they killed uh, Candy. But she went to, to, to the good lady to get it done. Um, we see Candy body is... I'm not going to say healing, but dealing with the uh, bruises and lumps and bumps and just scarring and, and bruises and all that stuff. More botched ass, you know, procedure. And then we see Damon at his school performing. And we see his, you know, Pray Tell is there. Of course, Ricky's there. That other dude is there. And Blanca, of course, is looking at her son in Oh So Much Glory. We also see his teacher looking on as well. And oh, they both look like proud people who has helped him get more out of his potential and you know we see this teacher looking up at Blanca and Blanca saying you know thank you because of course she gave him a chance and she's just happy about that and that's kind of how the episode goes off so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh like this video and hit the little notification ding bell so it's 3 in the morning and I have one more review to do so I am Jay Lee this is Jay's Corner Peace.